What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, called Joe Biden an enemy of the state. Can you believe that? A former president called a sitting president of the United States of America an enemy of the state. Man, times are getting hard out here in these political streets. Man. Now, he said this in Pennsylvania at a Klan rally, I mean, campaign rally. Let me tell you something, fam, and listen to me closely. There have been many horrible presidents in the United States, including Joe Biden. But even considering those who own slaves, Donald Trump is amongst the worst. I'm talking absolute worst. Even after he got kicked out of office, after just one term, he continued to divide, seek, and destroy America. This guy is amongst the worst. No matter what he does, no matter what crime he commits against the American people, no matter how often he violates the Constitution, his supporters finds a way to continue to support him without an ounce of criticism, regret, or pause. They, I will tell you, are amongst the worst. That's right, I said it. I'm not afraid to say it. I said it. Donald Trump is going down and he's trying to take as many Americans with him as possible. He has continued to make inflammatory comments that will cause people to act out. I'll submit to you that Many of the mass shootings that have happened in recent years were at the behest of Donald Trump's rhetoric. On a daily basis, Little Hands Cheeto Man flames the fire of racism, division, hatred, bigotry, and unrest in America. I do believe he's responsible for Kyle Rittinghouse. I think he's responsible for the shooter in Buffalo. I think he's responsible for the shooter in Uvalde and so on and so on and so on. But he hasn't been stopped. Now, why is that? That is because you have many in American society who are at the top, many powerful people who are sitting back and allowing him to do that because he represents them. He represents their ideologies. That's right, I said it. That's why he's been able to get away with it. Remember when he was on the campaign trail in Iowa and he said that he could literally shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and get away with it. He, he said that he would not lose any votes. He could shoot somebody. And keep in mind, fam, this is somebody running for president who said this. Oh, I could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and, and, and not lose any votes. And they still voted for him. They still allowed this dude, this doofus, this doter, to become president of the United States of America. They allowed him to go into the White House and taint it even further than what it was tainted already. Oh man, this is bad, fam. It's bad. And this is why many other countries 
have lost respect for America. They're sitting back like, damn, that's the best they can do? And they're supposed to be smart? They're supposed to be better than us? I don't think so. I travel a lot out of the country. And they don't think highly of America. Yeah, I know some of y'all think, well, they ain't gonna mess with us. We big, we bad, we bold. We got, we got all the money. We got, the, we got guns and we, we'll kill them. That's how y'all think. Somebody don't like you, just kill them. You disagree with somebody, just shoot them. Just kill him and shoot him. Just kill him and shoot him. <laughs> Fam, I hate to say it, but America is going to hell in a handbasket. And Donald Trump will be carrying it. No more talk. What the haters talking about?